Hello guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we had seen that uh, we had created a node and we had at attached a script to it called first script.gd where .gd is the extension of uh, the Gorod script. Now, uh, as soon as you open this up, let me just uh, go to distraction free mode. I'll click here and now uh, I am in the full view mode and let me just press control and hold down and just scroll my middle mouse button in order to uh, resize it so let me just resize it to this i hope everyone uh, will be able to see much more clearly so uh, when we create a script using a default template uh, which we saw in the last video so uh, godot writes a code uh, for us in which it writes some uh, basic code so here uh, it is showing extends node so basically in one line if, if in simple line if i explain you this is basically extending a node class so it is inheriting a node class so what are classes how to what is inheritance and everything we will see in later uh, videos but for now just leave it as it is don't worry about that then this is the uh, comment line so basically you, i can write on any comment so uh, i just have to enter hash and after that whatever i write will be treated as a comment and will be ignored so uh, let's say i am shashwat and i am writing awesome gd script so so uh, the compiler won't or the editor won't show me any error here because since i have added a hash so the editor knows that whatever i am writing is just a plain text so when i am basically including when this script is basically getting called inside any other element uh, of uh, the process so these uh, comments will be simply ignored so whatever you write in the comment is ignored and there is no error for that so now uh, why comment is important so basically if let's say the code uh, the if you are you know making a game where you are developing some complex functionalities so chances are that you can write uh, you know more than 1000 or 2000 lines of code so uh, and that can have a lot of uh, functions variables and, uh, and a lot of other stuffs going on so it will be very helpful if you write out a comment a simple explanation of what each functions are doing uh, let's say I'm, I'm going to use a variable so if i just write a line of uh, you know text that what is this variable and why is this variable uh, uh, you know relevant in this particular piece of code so later on if if me or if any other developer comes in and looks at my code so they'll be able to understand you know that okay this is the code and this is the uh, you know why this particular function has been used why this particular variable is this uh, being used so commenting is very important so uh, along the line when you you know uh, write a game and when you uh, write up the logic it is very important to write uh, you know even a small one single line of comment is fine but uh, it will it is a good habit that you know you you uh, try to write comments as uh, as descriptive as possible all right so now that you know what comments are now finally coming back to this two things func func underscore ready and then func underscore process and then this delta so what are these so basically func the this is a, a function okay and func func is basically the keyword uh, to define a function so uh, let's say if I want to create a function and uh, by the way what are functions and uh, like how we can use them and all those things we'll see later uh, in a very detailed uh, video specific to it but for now just for the your understanding uh, let me just say func func and here let me just say new gd script and let me just add in a pass keyword to it so what i did here just now is basically i created a new function called new gd script and func is the keyword to define that now what is pass so basically in uh, go dot uh, see uh, like the gd script is heavily inspired by the python language okay now if you have any uh, you know 
previous experience with any other language so basically if we define any function and we want to write out anything inside the function we you know uh, we use something like this curly braces okay but in this particular gd script there is no uh, curly brace we use indentation for that now what happens if i don't use a pass keyword and i leave my function empty so basically it's a you know confusion that the when the uh, you know compiler tries to compile compile this script so basically the compiler won't be able to know where is, where is this function ending okay because i have just written the function name i have defined the function but in the body of the function there is nothing so sometimes what happens that you want a function to to exist there in your code and you you know uh, plan it later to add some body to it i mean add some functionality to it so just to have a blank function if we just use it as it is so it will throw an error so just to avoid the error and just to keep a blank function we use this pass keyword okay so this will remove our error and we do now have a valid function all right so uh, here you can see ready is one function and process underscore process is another function okay and this pass is a keyword which is basically uh, is there to uh, like just showing the compiler okay the uh, the ready function is a valid function and there is nothing inside uh, inside this so pass is basically telling the compiler hey go ahead uh, i don't have anything for you to <laughs> execute okay so all right so uh, now what are these functions so basically let me just remove my created function so these two functions are uh, a part of Godot's life cycle methods. So what are life cycle methods? So basically when you run a code or or let's say when you launch a program uh, in Godot, there are a certain functions which gets called in a in a particular manner. Okay, so ready is one of them. So underscore ready basically gets called first time whenever this code gets executed and it runs only once during the runtime. Okay. So what that means is basically when whenever I will play my game and whenever this code will be executed underscore ready will be called automatically and only for the first time. Okay. Then the underscore process. So underscore process is basically a function that runs in a loop. So every uh, game engine that you come across either it is unity unreal or phaser or any other game engine every game engine runs on a loop because looping methods are very important because in there we do all the calculations whether the player has given any input if if there is any animation that needs to be changed or if the if we have to you know uh, like do the translation of, of uh, any game object from one point to another so all those uh, you know live uh, things uh, calculations happens within uh, mostly within the uh, loop uh, function and the, in Godot the loop function is this underscore process this is where the looping happens and it, it runs every frame so we do have this delta so what is this so basically this is a function and this delta is a parameter now uh, again uh, what are functions how to you know create a parameter how to pass a parameter all these things uh, we will discuss later in in this series but just for your explanation you know just to get an overview and i'm you i'm telling you everything so now let's say that i want to print hello world inside my uh, you know that is the you know uh, a general uh, method uh, method that we use for whenever we start any new uh, programming language so let's say so let's say that we want to write a hello world so i'll just replace this pass so here i want to do something now we do have a output panel and we saw that in the last video what is this output panel so let's say in the in my output panel i want to print hello world so what i'll do is over here in inside my ready function I'll use print and the brackets I'll use double quotes and I'll say hello world and I'll press enter now if you are familiar with any other programming language you might think that there has to be a semicolon that I'm missing but no this is heavily inspired by Python and there is no semicolon required we just need a indentation 
so you can see there is a, this small uh, you know icon showing that there is an indented so this particular code is indented so that what that means is basically if i uh, hit backspace and i write up like this so this will show an error because now the compiler is thinking that this print method is not uh, a part of this function so if in order to make this print print statement a part of this function i have to press tab to indent it one uh, one tab space and then it is a valid statement so now i'll press control s and i'll hit on the play button so right away you can see in my output panel we have written hello world so that was it for this video in the next video we'll move on to next steps and we'll see how the process function works and uh, what all the things we can write so see you in the next video